Sometimes hard drives aren't recognized on Windows computers, and right now this brand new Western Digital Drive isn't working on my computer, but I'm gonna go over the steps needed to get this working again. If your drive has data on it, you'll have to find a way to back it up first because what we'll do here will most likely erase everything off of the drive. So definitely back up your files if you can. With the drive plugged in, I can see it's not showing up in Windows Explorer. To fix this, right click on the Windows button and select Disk Management. Here I can see all the disks and partitions connected to this computer. I can see that disk 0 and disk 1 which are the C and D internal drives are working because they're showing drive letters next to their names. But disk 2 which is an external drive does not have a letter assigned to it and therefore it won't show up as a usable drive. So what we have to do is right click on the problem drive and click on delete volume. You'll get a chance to confirm whether you really want to delete it. When I click yes the space on the drive becomes unallocated. Now I'll right click again on disk 2 and click on new simple volume. Keep in mind that yours might be a different disk number. Here I'm going to click next and then next again. In this window you don't have to choose a drive letter but I'm going to call this the L drive. If you don't need a specific drive letter then click the button that says do not assign a drive letter or drive path. This way the computer will assign the letter automatically when it's mounted. Now hit next. If you're only using this drive on Windows choose the NTFS file system. For Windows and Mac compatibility, you can choose XFAT. And there's an option to name the drive if you want. I'm just going to give this a quick name for now. And then let's leave the check mark where it says perform a quick format. So this is all looking good, so hit next. So here on the last step, click on finish. In a few seconds, you can see that disk 2 is now ready and assigned the drive letter L. When I go to Windows Explorer, I can see that it is now available for use. So I hope this helps you with your external drive, and just remember that this will wipe out everything on your drive, so be sure you've got all your files off of it first. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any of my weekly videos.